Hello everyone, Nathan here again from theebookreader.com. For this video review, I'm going to show you Android 3.1 on the Asus Transformer. They just updated this um, to Android 3.1 yesterday, so I thought I'd put a quick video review together for it, since I already put the main review together for it, which you can find a video for on my YouTube channel. Okay, so the um, some of the differences, um, one of the main differences is stuff loads a lot faster. Um, with this 3.1 update, just going into there, everything loads a lot faster than it used to. Things are a lot zippier. Some of the other updates, um, you can now resize some of these widgets. Sometimes I have problems with that one. You gotta go like this, and you pull the little red, uh, the little tabs, and you can make it larger. Same goes with like the calendar widget. You can make it, um, oops, you can make it wider or longer. A couple of things. Uh, you can also adjust the email widget. Okay, so one of the other major things that changes is now you can scroll through up to, uh, I think it's 18, 16, or 18 apps at once on here instead of just five or seven like it used to be, so you can quickly jump between different apps. Um, a couple other things, it, it comes with some three uh, different new apps. You know, it comes with the Honeycomb Movie Studio app, so you can edit your um, videos. It uh, comes with Xenio Reader, of course, um, but this one, it's not working right now, um, the one that it came with. I downloaded the other one that was just announced yesterday from Xenio, the actual one from the Android market, and it works a little bit better. Actually, it works well. I'll show you in a couple seconds. Um, and it comes with the Kindle app now um, for e-reading, which it didn't used to have. I also have a video review on that if you want to see um, see that in action. Uh, one of the other things they updated, they updated the My Library in here. Um, I don't seem to recall it used to having this Add Bookshelf. Uh, that I think that that is new. One thing that definitely is new is the bookstore. They've actually got a nice bookstore up on here. They partnered with Texture, and um, uh, so you've got your options for uh, like new releases. And let's see here. Let's load up some of these here. I don't know what's taking so long, but uh, yeah. So now you can get eBooks on here um, directly on here. So there's some good books actually on here. It's a, they got the New York Times bestseller list. So then it pops up, you got your Synapse right there, and you can buy it. You got to log in, you got to set up an ACS Vibe account to get ebooks through here. Um, they also added a couple of other details the, um, to the ebook app. It's just a little bit different now. It's got a slightly different layout. The bookmark list is up there now. The text to speech works like instantly now when you t touch the uh, button. Of course, it's not working. When his grandfather's initial antagonism wore. When his grandfather's initial antagonism So yeah, that's, uh, that's really quick now. Um, Everything else is pretty much the same. They did change the on-screen icons. You have to have that off first. Um, so let me do this. So these icons are a little bit different now. And you also have the ability to um, to share now. So all the other stuff is the same. The highlight, the text to speech is all there from last time. But now you can actually share passages as well. So that's a couple of different things I noticed on there. So let me show you the Xenio app. You're going to want to download this if you've got the Transformer. Um, they're giving away 25 free or 22 free magazines, something like that, until June 15th. So you can get access to all these. Download. So this is a, let me show you what it looks like here. Okay, so um, the 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 um, magazines layout. You've got the you can scroll through the pages down here, and then there's also this is the table of contents right here. So I kind of like it a little bit better in portrait mode because it shows you one page at a time. And then so here's the table of contents that will take you to the page. So then you can zoom in, double, um, you can double tap or you can pinch to zoom. It could stand to be a little bit speedier. I don't know if they'll have the other one speeded up here. I mean it is, it could use some speeding up. Apparently there's some that have um, article view. It says in the menu that some of them are like a text balloon will pop up where you can read an article view. I have not seen that. It's not in the Rolling Stones one or the travel magazine I downloaded. So um, that's a, that for that. Now, there's one other thing here. You can view the table of contents as images if you want. So there have been a lot of... Uh, um, for performance enhancements, like I said, everything seems to load a lot faster when you get, go to the apps and whatnot. Um, the remember, if I, if you saw my video comparing this to the Motorola Zoom, I had this one video where it was all choppy, and it's actually not um, doing the choppiness anymore with this video, so it's uh, definitely smoothed out. But I'm still having some problems with 720 video on on the browser here. This is 720, and it. Um, 
It's still, it's still not playing smoothly. I, I loaded this exact movie on the Motorola Zoom and it's as smooth as can be, so I can't understand why this transformer has problems with that still. I thought the update was supposed to fix that. In fact, some people are reporting that they are having um, 720 video play smoothly, but I'm still not for whatever reason. Um, so that's just one thing. I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, there's a few other subtle changes as well. I don't know, some of the the widgets have changed slightly. I don't know, just the names and layout a little bit on the ACS's widgets or ASUS's widgets, I always want to say ASUS, sorry. Um, they've also added this different live wallpaper in here. Halo, Holo Spiral. So there's just some other goodies that they found in here. I don't know exactly what all the, a lot of the updates are behind the scenes, but um, there's some other stuff in here. This is slightly different. The settings, I, I don't seem to remember that I used to having this option for the mobile dock battery saving mode. I think that that's new. There's a few other um, changes in here, but uh, for the most part, it's, uh, it's uh, the performance is what you're going to notice the most, and being able to scroll through the apps and jump to different apps like that, that's uh, that's one of the coolest things about the 3.1 update. So I'm going to wrap this up right now, this review. Check out the full review. I already have one posted for the Transformer if you want to know more about it, um, and I also have a written review online, so you can check that out. Thank you for watching the video.